It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New England Patriots and the New York Giants. And it's all up next. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, these Giants seem to be a team on the improve. They won their first playoff game since Super Bowl 46 last year. Now, what needs to happen to take that next step? They just need to continue to amass talent, get those guys going, and become contributors, and on the offensive side of the ball, become much more explosive in the passing game. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pads just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. The kicker, Chad Ryland, has this one teed up, and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Paris Campbell now on the return. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Now leading them out, someone who's forged an excellent career as a six-round pick way back in 2011. From Virginia Tech, Tyrod Taylor. One of the classiest quarterbacks in the NFL and always in a difficult position because he has the skills to be a starter, but there's usually a youngster behind him that they're grooming and they want on the field. But when given an opportunity to be the guy, he's led teams to the playoffs and he's also gone to the Pro Bowl. A great combination of arm and legs, not to mention a brilliant mind. Now Taylor on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Shepard. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Now Taylor to throw on second down. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. On first and 10, it's Taylor. And he goes down, it's a Patriot sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. I'll tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning yeah. the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Third down and 13. Now it's Taylor. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Five yards, and that means they come up short. 
as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he could break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Fielded just inside the 20. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Patriots take over. So here come the Patriots, led by Bailey Zappi at quarterback in his second season now out of Western Kentucky. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school, ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL, this guy's like a very skilled point guard, knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Zappi's throw here taken in by Parker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. With no hesitation there, not only do they throw it on their first play, Charles, they throw it into double coverage and complete it. They might as well have gone to a podium and just announced we are not going to be challenged or bullied in this game. We're taking a fight to you, just like they did right there on the first round. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 14 yards is the pickup there at a New England first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Zappy off play action. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards on the play. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? Stevenson now on first and 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. Here we go now on first and goal. Elliott. Will get down close to the goal line, but not in, and as he'll be marked down at the one. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second in goal from the one. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. Mike Gesicki, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Patriots are on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And he 
he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. Nice. There he goes, left side. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. 51 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. The ultimate speedster showing that speed in, this, in front of this home crowd. They love that. Made me stand up on that run because right now all I want to do is wave to the crowd. More noise, more noise. You got to reward it for that one. A big time monster run. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the 31, here's second and six. Now Taylor. Throw right side, taken in by Bellinger. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Taylor. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Second down and four. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Seven yards there and a first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they? Moving the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to pump the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Barkley inside handoff. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breda. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Matt Breda, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. But there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action you. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Extra point by York is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So only 
even at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So five yards here, five on the play, and that will bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go out over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 47. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second and a couple. They'll send Parker in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Well, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. More play action here with Zappi. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. And New York set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. Short throw, going to be caught by Waller. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Now Taylor. Escape. Taylor hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. He tried to buy some time to the right. So, Charles, when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the quarterback? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make a play throwing the ball. Some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble, in this case, as you said, to the right, you're cutting the field in half. So good defenses kind of can converge in that spot and they don't give you much territory to throw the ball. He had nowhere to go with it. Ends up getting the ball stripped. It's 
Zappi to throw on first down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off the fake, Zappi. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Stevenson going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They give it off here to the tight end. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting them a few yards. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him, that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there. That's winning football. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Zappi. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth. Couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. Taylor's throw complete here to Waller. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Here's Taylor. Hard running at the 15. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw here. He's got a man complete. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard, 84 yards. And the Giants have taken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. ready and here we go as he sends this one away and Rager will not return it so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time that 7 nothing lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by 7 yeah but no cause for discouragement here yeah they've fallen behind but haven't they proven that they can go down and score so what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Again, it's Stevenson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Third and three. Zappi from the gun. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. We get a peek at Sterling Shepard as the Giants get set for their upcoming series. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown, I'm sure. On that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, all right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, he has that make-you-miss ability right. to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again. So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, you've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. They're struggling with that so far. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Second down, here's Barkley again. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line, the whole blockers off of them, and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. From the gun on third down, it's Taylor. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. A first down carry for Barkley, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. 
They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. 84 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. New England on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. They go play action with Taylor. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he will have a Giants first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup. Bounce didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at the 20. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. On first down, here's Zappi. Douglas with a grab over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Zappi looks to throw it. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Unbelievable. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. 
Now Zappi. Over the middle complete. It's Douglas. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 20-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Now Zappi. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Again, it's Zappi. final two minutes of the half so this will be blown dead and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble a lot of bad news on that play for them wasn't there lost the football lost a lot of yardage but i think the good news outweighs it able to retain possession that was big for them here's bryce Barringer on now to punt He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. A look at Sterling Shepard as he and this offense get set to go again. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. On first and ten, it's Taylor. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Here's Taylor to throw. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Now it's Taylor. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. That's pulled in at the 32. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with great starting field position, one time out of their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Here's Zappi. Hunter Henry brings it in. And 
taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. First and ten, Zappi. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. touchdown ball game 14-7 our scores we get back at it on EA Sports out of his end zone here comes Jalen Rager and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback and the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three well out of the locker rooms here they come their first drive of the third quarter and Charles they're trailing in this ball game but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half and as we know partner in the NFL there's trailing and there's trailing right sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down but in this case this is a tight ball game so there's a sense of optimism here I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said these are the plays we really like what do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going and the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And yeah, he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. A gain of eight there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Zappi back to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. And unable to connect. Incomplete. But give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half.
They begin with a run by Barkley. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 95 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. The throw over the middle, taken in, and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Now Taylor to throw. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 26. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Play action, now Taylor. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real option for him to throw it downfield. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And just like that, it's third down. Taylor will throw. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. York able to send this one through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it, and they do so right there. ready and here we go as he sends this one away here's Rager he's going to bring this one out oh a dangerous return man showing it here and he nearly broke that for more but as it is still a good return they'll start to drive right around the 37 New England trying to get to place on offense they find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10 
First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And Zappi to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Douglas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. The tackle there by the safety, Xavier McKinney. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and eight. Going to play action here with Zappi. Finding Henry here on the crossing round. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 37. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Zappi. He finds Douglas complete. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Zappi going to bootleg out. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Giants are going to get the football back. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. From the 38 now, here's second and a couple. They go play action with Taylor. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, often, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Taylor. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. They do get 
get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's Jamie Gillen now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. 38-yard line, second and nine. The play fake, and now here's Zappi. Giants get there. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. On the draw is Stevenson. Oh, look at the juke. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. Side. They are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. It's Barkley on the counter. And Saquon going to have the Giants first down as they'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Well, that last run for a first down, it really shouldn't be the last straw for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box. They need to add more people. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw is Taylor. He couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now an option play on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 
what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I'm wondering, partner, if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. Here's a second and eight. Now they'll throw with Taylor. He's got Slayton on the slant. He'll go down as a gain of six. And now that sets up third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. Again, it's Barkley. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. They work now on second and nine. Here's Taylor. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and it's third down. Up the middle with Barkley, and the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. A lot of pressure here for Cade York from the left hash, a chip shot here. York able to send this one through. To 20 to 7. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. He sends this one away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. New England's offense set to go. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Zappi. Stevenson again, back-to-back -back plays. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make... Touchdown! Devontae Parker from 19 yards away. And the Pats have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Ryland on for the extra point. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And now out come the Giants. And their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? <laughs> Just give your superstar the ball continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Here's Taylor to throw. Stop. He does have the first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the deep blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. And this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on them to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. 
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Short throw, gonna be caught by Waller. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's gonna bring up second down. Inside handoff, and he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. They'll go to Barkley again. offensive line they're really starting to establish themselves take over this game and before the series began i know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle guys we gotta get no less than a three and out let's get off the field instead they can't find any traction towards doing that right now they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it kyle duggar up to make the tackle From the 41, here's a second and eight. They go play action now. Taylor to Barkley on the check down. Dropped at the 35, but he was able to display the agility there. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll leave him with a third and two. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. And we saw him shed a nice tackle on that one. And he will have a Giants first down as they get five there on third and two. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Right back to him on first down. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you gotta focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 21. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Ball at the 14 for second and five. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Oh, 
Third and two. Here's Taylor. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And that drive is going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down, but on that one, the defense rose up and said enough of that. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. You are able to send this one through, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So here is Zappi and the Patriots. Down by nine. A minute 39 to go. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and 10. Now Zappi. And his throw here is incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. They'll try again here, second and 10. Straight ahead at Stevenson, and he'll get this up only to about the 22. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long, and you know this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Well, the crowd here at MetLife Stadium in full roar, third down. Here's Zappi. He's got Smith-Schuster, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and 10 here. Now left side on the swing pass, and he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Zappi. He finds his man, complete. That's Douglas. This is first and 10. Zappy to throw. Going deep here for Parker. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. I've got a good friend in football, always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Clock at 30 seconds. Second and 10. Here's Zappi to throw. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Here's first down. Zappy to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And the 
Giants are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, there's a time and a place for everything. Down two scores late in the fourth. I get it. Now is the time to throw it downfield, but that one might just write an end to this ball game. Yeah, I hear all the time how critical I am of play calls. Not in this situation. No other choice, really. Look at the clock. Look at the scoreboard. Had to press it and take a chance. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But Charles, a very simple mission any time that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital.